What's up guys, thanks for tuning in, this is Vet, and today I'm reporting 60 degree cold, cold Florida weather. I know what you're thinking guys, winter is coming Jon Snow. Well, this is what happens guys when you live in Florida for a long time, you kind of get spoiled. But that's not what I want to talk about today guys, today I want to talk about protection. And not this kind of protection from the winter, but something more important. Today I want to show you guys how to protect your most valuable damn good content on your WordPress website. Honestly guys, I am over, I'm done seeing people using someone else's content because they don't want to spend the time, they don't want to make the effort to create content on the first place, so they just jump in someone else's website, they find valuable information and they use it for their own benefits and I don't think that's cool, so stop it, stop it right now. So that's why guys, I've been researching for the longest time and I've been testing different things and I finally found something that works, so I wanna share with you. So today, I wanna show you guys how to install a super cool, super easy plugin to your WordPress website. And what it does is actually disables the functions on your website for anyone to be able to copy, paste, drag and drop or save any content from your website, including images, text or anything else. So if you wanna learn how to protect your website guys, Stay with me and let's dive in. All right guys, so I'm back on my computer and in order to show you how the plugin works, I pre-designed a simple page with a picture of a puppy and just the basic text. So for example, if you try to copy the text on the screen right now, you're gonna be able to. And the same with the image, if you click right button on your trackpad or your mouse, you're gonna be able to save it to your computer because I haven't activated the plugin yet. Well, let me show you guys how to install and activate the plugin. So first is first, you have to log in into your WordPress dashboard. To do so, go to your login page, then punch in your username, password and press login. So once you enter your dashboard, navigate to the left side of your screen when you see a title plugins. Then a submenu is gonna pop up with the title Install Plugins. Now go up on the page and press Add New. Now navigate to the right middle side of your screen where you're gonna find the search bar with the title Search Plugins. So this is where you're gonna be typing your plugin title. I already copied so I'm just gonna paste it but you can type WP Content Copy Protection and no right click. So once you finish typing, you're gonna see the plugin is gonna pop up on the left side of your screen with the same title as the description that you added to the search bar and a WordPress logo to the left. So in order to install the plugin, just press install now. And by the way guys, we're gonna be installing only the basic version of the plugin because I think that even so, it's only the basic version, it gives you all the necessary features to protect all the content on your website. Of course, you can look into the full version, which gives you a little bit more customization on your content, but that wasn't necessary for me at this time. So I just decided to go just with the basic version. So now we have the plugin installed on the website, it's time to activate it, so simply press activate. Okay guys, so the plugin has been installed to the web page, it's been activated, so now it's time to go back to the test page and see how it works. So I'm gonna refresh the page just to make sure all the changes have been applied to the page. So now when I try to save text from my web page, the plugin doesn't allow me to because the plugin is already working in the background. And the same with the image, when I try to uh, click right button on my trackpad and save the image to my computer, it still doesn't work. So this is how the plugin works, it protects any content from your web page. However, there are a few more options that I want to show you guys, so let's go back to the dashboard. Alright, so once again, navigate to the left side of your screen and look for the button with the title Settings. Now go all the way down and look for the title WP Content Copy Protection and click on it. Alright guys, so this is the main plugin settings page where you can do all your customization of your choice. So this is where you can manage what can be protected and what not. So as you can see guys, you got a few options that you can uh, customize, you can disable or enable based on your choice. But what I really want to talk about now is those two text fields on the bottom. So in the first text field you can submit custom text and what's gonna happen is actually this custom text is gonna come up on your website as a pop-up message every time someone tries to steal, copy or drag and drop any content from your website. And the second text field pretty much works the same way. You can submit custom text and it's gonna pop up every time someone tries to print anything from your website. So let me save this page and show you how those features work. 
So I'm going to refresh the page again, just to make sure all the changes have been submitted to the page. As you can see guys, I tried to save the image to my computer, so the plugin didn't allow me to. Instead, the pop-up with the message came up and this is the same text as what we submitted uh, to the first text field. So now let's go try to print the page and see what's gonna happen. So as you can see now guys, the print page has nothing to do with what was on the web page. Instead, it was replaced with the exact text that we submitted to the second text field. So this is how the plugin works guys, it protects any content on your website, so I do suggest you install the plugin and make sure your content is safe and protected. So this is it guys, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, I hope I was able to help some of you. However, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below this video and if you like what I do and you want me to create some more content, please don't forget to subscribe.